Hi, I'm Marky Schneider and it's time to explore the old photo album. Back in 1727, a professor J. Schnauzen mixed a compound of chalk, acetic acid, and silver in a flask, taking note of the darkening on the side of the flask under the light, creating accidentally the, fo the first photosensitive compound. 1816, the year Nipe's brothers conducted an experiment to create temporary photos using photosensitive paper. You know, ye old Snapchat. A decade later, Nisip's piece creates his own very first permanent image, creating the helograph, computer plates, and a camera obscure. And after waiting eight hours, you can finally post that black and white self. 1834, Henry Fox tablet uses paper soaked to the brim in silver or chlorophyll and salt to make the permanent image. In 1837, Lewis Patrick creates images on silver plated copper under 30 minutes developed with mercury to give us an image that had to be sealed in glass to prevent oxidization. The main reason we don't use this today, the types is unique and cannot be copied. Back then, only one of you could own that meme. Jumping up a few years in 1871, a man named Richard Leach Maddock uses an expository of silver and bromide on a glass plate, making the famous dry plate silver bromide process that everyone knows about, killing exposure down to 1 25th of a second. The year is 1888. Sounds like the start of an advertisement. Eastman Inn Company produces the Kodad No. 1 with a 20-foot roll of paper, creating the first simplified camera system with the unique slogan, you press it, we do the rest. I feel like this is the point in the video where I have to say this is not a paid advertisement. We finally get to the 1900s. Fred H. Evans exhibits 150 platinum prints. And no, that is not an achievement on Xbox. Showing off is a prime example of pure imagery, as the images were unedited. Guess this guy never heard of Photoshop. 1934, man, we've already gone over a century. Fuji Photo o Film was founded, and the 135 film cartridges were shown to the world, making 35 millimeter easier to use. 1936, two years later, the first SLR 35 millimeter single lens reflect camera was made. You sure this isn't just a paid advertisement? We could have told them it's just a camera. Were they trying to speed up these last ones? As they're more known in today's world. Then in the 80s, Sony demonstrated their first camcord. 1985, Pixar introduced the image processor, yay Disney. Then in 1987, the Canon EOS system was introduced, showing off its old electronic lens mount. 2000, that was the year I was born. Canon introduced EOS D30, marking the first digital SSR for the consumer. A year later, the old Polaroid company goes bankrupt. 2005, Canon releases another camera. The Canon EOS 5D. That sold for around 3000 as a digital SSR with a 24x36mm CMOS sensor. Fancy words, I know. Now what's the craze in today's world full of cell phones and cameras everywhere? Drones. Drones have flooded the market with DJI being one of the most popular brands known today, showing video and photos from a bird's eye view. Thank you for watching this camera shot on a Canon camcord. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my school project. Hope to see you in the next video. Follow your dreams. Peace.